Okay, so here we are. We're at our final stop of the day, and the theme of today is um, affordable real estate um, under a million properties. And here we are now in Boyle Heights. I'm going to show you a triplex, but it's not just any triplex. It's a house, a three bedroom, one bath house, plus uh, two additional one bedroom, one bath units that are off on their own. They have their own separate thing. Um, we're in Boyle Heights, as I mentioned. It's a quiet neighborhood. Um, we just barely made it in, but let's go take a look. So, here is the main house. Very nicely kept. It's a character home with um, some updating done. Here we've got a view of the street. Our friendly host today is staying out out of the the camera's way, but no one escapes. All right, so it's all really very tastefully done. So usually we don't like bars on windows and stuff, but it's nice, they taking care of it. Here's the living room, all nice and fresh. Laminate flooring, and this is staged, it's no longer occupied. But look at how cute, look at the, the ceilings. If you're looking for something with character, but in good condition, this is the house. And this one is, is vacant, as I mentioned. So this could be the one that you live in while you rent the other two. Actually, the other two, hello, the other two are um, occupied. Here we have a formal dining room. I just want to show you this detail work on this archway here. So here's the dining room. Opens to the kitchen. Here's bedroom number two. Nicely staged. No wine on the bed this time. And as you can see, it leads to uh, the bathroom over there, but we'll, we're gonna approach it, approach it from a different angle. So you can see that it accommodates a pretty good sized table in here and still has a lot of space. There's the kitchen, really good condition. Really nice space. I wouldn't mind living here. I think I would need another bathroom though. No, I'm pretty sure I would. But even that, here's this little landing. So there's the bathroom. There's this little uh, utility sink. The bathroom's over there. And you can see that other bedroom. There's bedroom number three, it's kind of small. And then this is a laundry room. I think that this could easily be switched up to, um, to accommodate a second bathroom installed. Here's the bathroom. It's in nice condition, nicely done. Very clean and tidy. The third bedroom is small. There's no closet, but that doesn't take away from it being a bedroom. So perhaps some of the space from this landing could be used for 
uh, to expand it. So here's the laundry room. Okay, so this is kind of another um, example of condo alternative because there's not a lot of outside space. But there is some space for um, enjoying the outside. And there's a lot of, uh, of off-street parking. So could this big driveway space not be used in some other way? Could you not imagine some other use? I can. Okay, so beyond the driveway is this building here. And that's the income portion of this property. So let's take a look. Look at that neat building across the, the street. This is Boyle Heights, ladies and gentlemen. So talk about easily managed, very easy to manage, very manageable. Each unit is one bedroom, one bath. We're gonna go through it quickly because technically caravan is over. But here we've got the entryway for the first unit. Here we've got laminate floors once again. This is the living room, the front room. That there is a little closet, but beyond it, here's the kitchen. Very, very light, very bright. Look at that cute little built-in um, eating area. It's certified not haunted, so anyone who is concerned about that need not be. I mentioned this is one bedroom, one bath. That is, this is the one bedroom. Both units are one bedroom. There's no closet in the bedroom, but there is a big, massive closet right here. And here's the bathroom. Once again, well, just a nice, tidy, room. Now, there's a little space behind the, uh, behind the house. We can take a look at that real quick. Oops. Just a little outside space. Nothing extraordinary. Well, nothing extraordinary in its current condition, but I think landscaping could do a lot here. Could have some shade and turn this into a nice little area to relax in. There's the water heaters. There's the dungeon where all the bad kids go. No, I'm just kidding. They don't go there. They go elsewhere. All right. So we're going to walk through the house again and go take a look at the other unit just so you guys can see what I see. So this is a um, just like a little utility room. I guess it could be the laundry room. It doesn't look like there is a water source, but anyway. The unit next door is basically the same um, layout. Could this area not be a nice, enjoyable outside space? I think it could. I think it could be worked out in a very nice way. All right, unit number two. So this one has tile. 
Not as bright as the other one. There's that closet again. Accommodates a piano. This one has built-ins. I don't think the other one had built-ins. I love those colorful bottles. They just like add something. There's that little built-in seating area again. Kitchen, the stove. Also certified not haunted, if that's a concern to you. Here it is, just a standard issue bedroom. This one has carpet in it. I'm not sure what would be underneath. Probably not anything too fancy. Here's that big closet again. It's not in the bedroom, it's in the hallway. And then here's the bathroom. All right. Cool stuff. outside. So there you have it. This is one of those properties that as a real estate agent, I see it and I try to tell my clients about it ASAP because this is three units. This is a, a home to live in and two income units all for under a million. Now, if we consider what Highland Park used to be like, what Northeast LA used to be like, it's not easy to find a property like this. Um, so I would say if anyone out there is interested in taking a look at this property, let me know. I'll share the information with you and we can, uh, you know, get you going. So I will say goodbye to you guys for now here for today. Um, this has been a really cool uh, day of affordable living options under a million. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to see other things. Okay, see you soon.